So you're thinking about moving to Vero Beach, Florida, and you want to know the pros and cons of living here? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of living here in Vero Beach. I'm going to go over, you know, kind of what you can expect moving here from elsewhere, kind of what makes Vero Beach Vero. And at the very end, I'll explain why it's called Vero Beach. I just found out myself. So let's get into it right now. If you're new to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in the Treasure Coast of Florida, including here in Vero Beach, then subscribe down below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the market changes here in the Treasure Coast of Florida. My name is Jacob, I'm with the Kai's Company, and we get calls every day from people just like you looking to relocate here to our Treasure Coast. So whether you're moving next week, next month, or next year, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to help make your transition here to the Treasure Coast go as smooth as possible. So, like I said earlier, I am in downtown Vero Beach, um, beautiful, wonderful area. So kind of one of the, I guess, pros of Vero, why they consider, well, at least they consider it a pro, might be a con for some of y'all, it's kind of off the main roads. So the turnpike doesn't come to Vero, it, it turns off after Fort Pierce and goes out towards Orlando. Um, and then I-95 kind of skirts to the side of Vero, but doesn't actually go through Vero you know, the main part of Euro. So if you're looking somewhere that needs close to the highways, you're not gonna have that here. Um, you do have US-1 or Federal Highway um, going through, uh, which gets crowded because that's one of the main roads here. But besides that, you're not really close to much. Um, and, and they like that here. You get kind of more of a small town feel, a little bit more, I'm not gonna say country feel, but almost kind of country feel um, for a beach town. And it's off of being the path and just kind of it's kind of what makes Vero Vero is they, they like being kind of away from the hustle and bustle and away from everything. And that's one of the biggest pros about Vero is, is it's away from all that stuff. And then going to pro number two, you have beautiful beaches here. Um, so if you're looking for somewhere, let's see, you got two bridges that go across to, to Hudson Island. So you got two bridges that go across the beaches. So you're really close, you know, no matter where you are, you're going to be pretty close, you know, within i say 20, 30 minutes of the beach, you know, depending on traffic, which, you know, besides down here in downtown, you can see behind me, and on US-1, you're not really going to have a whole bunch of traffic. Um, so beautiful beaches, a lot of fun downtown things to do, or beach type things to do. You're not really going to have a nightlife or anything like that. You'd have to go to the cities. I don't really... Do nightlife stuff myself so i don't really know where to go but i assume you go up to, to melbourne up north or you go down south west, west palm beach or or lauderdale miami and there you can have your nightlife but here you're not really going to have that you're going to have more of the, the fun restaurants and bars and and places to eat like that is really what your nightlife is going to be here in vero and then going into pro number three the medical system here in vero beach is awesome so let me show you a quick shot of 37th Street. So 37th Street, you have Indian River, Cleveland Clinic and Indian River Hospital is really going to be the hub there of the 37th Street. And I've heard it referred to as Medical Mile. I've also heard a couple other names for it. But basically, most of the medical, anything that you need, is going to be there along that stretch on 37th Street. So if you need a podiatrist, a pediatrician, the hospital, behavioral health. Um, there's, I saw some neuro places there. There's orthopedic places there. There's even the surgery, orthopedic surgery center there at the end too, if you don't want to go to the hospital. There's all, everything you need is right there on 37th. And there's a couple of places scattered throughout Vero as well. But it's kind of nice if you need to, you know, have a couple medical appointments, you know where you're going every time. You need to go to the same kind of street and makes it really easy and simplified. And Cleveland Clinic's really an awesome hospital too. If they can't treat you there, um, they have a Cleveland Clinic down in Stewart and uh, Port St. Lucie. And then you can also go clear down, I think it's in, um, it's in Davie, Weston. It's in Weston, they have Cleveland Clinic in Weston. So all these different Cleveland Clinics, they have their own specialty. So they can transfer you to and from the facilities for I believe it's a no cost um, if you're going from Cleveland Clinic to Cleveland Clinic and transfer you to the specialty you need. So you're the one health system for whatever you need, which is really nice. So going into 
another pro of Vero Beach. At least I think it's a pro. Some people might not. Um, there's a lot of HOA community out here, a lot of gated communities, and it really gives you a good sense of security. Um, it kind of helps keep up your home value as well. Um, this place is growing pretty good. Um, <laughs> the locals may or may not like that. Uh, most of them don't like that. But the area is growing pretty quick. Um, so traffic has increased a little bit. It's not going to be traffic for any other city. But the locals here will say, oh, they don't like the traffic. They don't like the congestion. They don't like the people moving here because they kind of like being off the beaten path and having that small town feel. But these communities, these gay communities, really give a good sense of security, a good um, holding on to your, your home value, basically. And especially when you're driving along the A1A up the beach of Hutchinson Island, you'll see a lot of those gated communities up there and then kind of throughout here as well. There's a few of them. Um, if you're looking for a lower price point to live in a beach town, Vero Beach is awesome at that. Especially if you're looking for a townhome or a condo or a villa type things. There are very affordable places here. Um, I was just out today looking at some places for a client. You know, you can get into, you know, kind of fixer upper type place in the 150 to 200 two hundred thirty thousand dollar range and then you can actually get in some decent condos and things not on the beach but here in Vero for you know 250 to, to 350 400 and going up from there you know if you want to be on the beach or if you no matter what uh, you're looking for there there can be a condo around with something like that park uh, it's on the other side of the heritage center here there's a pickleball courts over there and the very active pickleball community I don't know if y'all played pickleball before. I've only played it a couple times. It is fun. It is not a sport for old people, whether you're, well, you can play if you're old, you can play if you're young, you can play if you're in the middle, you can play if you're competitive, if you're not competitive. Pickleball is just a fun sport to play. Uh, no matter what demographic age group you're in or how athletic you are, pickleball is just fun to play. It is. <laughs> and there's a very active pickleball community here. Um, Vero Fitness is an amazing gym. Um, if you live anywhere near Vero Fitness, that is the gym you're going to want to go to. Even if you don't live near it, you're going to want to go to that gym. Um, the pools, the facility, the amenities, they have an awesome facility there. And I believe it's only like 50 or 60 bucks a month or something super cheap uh, for such a great gym. All right, another pro for the area. And I feel like all I'm talking about here is pros. But Indian River County has relatively lower property taxes compared to all the counties around here. So if you're looking for a place and you're, you're scared because you've seen my other videos and you know that like St. Lucie County and Martin County and Palm Beach County, all those places have higher property taxes, Indian River County is going to be lower than that. And then especially if you get a place out in the county and not the city, you're even going to have even lower property taxes. So Indian River County, on top of being one of the more affordable places in the Treasure Coast, well, I say that, it's also one of the more unaffordable places in Treasure Coast. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope y'all didn't hear that so <laughs> so as far as being one of the more affordable and unaffordable places you can get in here at a low budget you can get in here at a high budget so whether you're looking for a multi-million dollar place I think there's even like upwards of 30 million dollar places out there on the beach um, you can also find actually decent homes here in the $200,000 range um, when I say decent, you know, they're only about a thousand square feet, but you can find, you know, there's one I saw recently just sold is like 250 for like a 1300 square foot little home and is relatively updated for 250. And it was, I was like, wow, that's, that's really nice. So you have little communities that, you know, low budget, high budget, you can find what you want here in Vero. All right. Now to get into the cons, we talked about earlier, um, how it's kind of out of the beaten path. So you don't have the turnpike. Turnpike turns away before it gets to Vero. You don't have I-95 that really goes through here. You really just have the US-1 and Kings Highway. Um, going along with that, you know, if you want a Costco, there's there's no Costco here. You have to go clear down to uh, the building one in Stewart, hopefully. Um, but right now, it's either West Palm Beach or clear up to Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne's actually going to be closer to, to Vero than, than West Palm Beach one. You just don't have, you know... 
it's just what you need is really here in town. You have the basic essentials, but for all the specialty things and things that you get more in a larger town, larger city, you just don't have those here. Um, like like the Costco, you know, all those stores which you kind of ex almost expect to see in a town, they just they don't have here. They're off the beaten path. The farther away you have to travel for those. Um, that can be a pro because you don't have to travel or well you don't have traffic coming to your city for those things but you do have to travel out of your way to go get those things um vero beach is really kind of a self-sustaining city um you got everything you need here whereas like if you go the other parts of the treasure coast like fort pierce port st Lucie, stewart palm city all those cities kind of connect to each other they kind of grown into each other so you know you kind of travel in between all the cities with the exception of Palm City, no one really goes to Palm City unless they live there. Um, Vero, there's there's no reason for anyone else to come to Vero um, unless they have friends or family or like you have beaches down south in all these other cities, you have hospitals in all these other cities. There's nothing really special about Vero that you don't have everywhere else. So plus side, you don't have people coming to your city downside you don't really have an attraction that brings a lot of people now i will say that if y'all follow country music jake owen has a place here and he does a concert here i think just about every year so that's one thing that brings people to vero um but besides that you don't really have anything in vero that brings people to vero uh, that you can't get anywhere else um but to me that's almost a pro because then you kind of maintain more of that small town feel you kind of maintain just that good yes i summarize it downtown or small town feel you know you you maintain that good environment good community feel without sacrificing because you are self-sustaining you are your own little city so as promised i said i would tell you how vero beach got its name now there's not 100 percent certainty how it got its name um there's a lot of guesses but historians do agree on one of the guesses more than the other guesses so some of the guesses people say, oh, the weather tends to veer away from Vero. So if there's a hurricane or something, it always tends to shoot up north or shoot up south, which kind of, and even the heavy rains, heavy, big storms tend to skip Vero and veer off other directions. Someone I met in downtown Vero Beach said that it comes from an Indian word, the Vero. That means that the weather veers like that. Um, I saw online that's probably not true. Um, other people say something about Vero meaning truth in Italian and how it's supposed to stand for truth or something. Historians don't really agree on that one either. The founding father of Vero Beach, Gifford, his wife wanted to name the town Verona. Um, and when they went to go do that, the post office said you only need, we, we only accept four letter short words for the town. So they did Vero or Verona. And then in letters, when it talks about Vero, Vero, it has a period after it, indicating it's an abbreviation from way back in the 1800s. So somehow the abbreviation stuck and Verona became Vero, which became Vero Beach. And that's what historians most likely agree on is the answer. Um, if you heard something different, this is what my research pulled up. But other than that, you know, thanks for watching my video on Vero Beach and the pros and the cons. If you think I missed anything out, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear more. Or if you want to know more, please let me know what you want to know and I'll, I'll get back to you. Uh, as always, thank you for watching.